Maybe if I talk to you guys about this, um, I'll be able to make some sort of progress on this paper. And I want to just talk quickly about just like HIV. I'm trying to find my tripod, but I can't find it. HIV and the effects that this disease has had on the gay population. Um, so basically, like, okay, first of all, bear with me. Because I know that a lot of people don't even, like, kind of... Not that they don't like this topic, but just many people don't know about it or something, or it's it might be a sensitive subject, but who cares? Um, so I'm talking about how HIV AIDS um, acquired by gay men has just been way too high and what policies in the U.S. have been set in place to like like help with that and if they're even helpful policies in the first place. I feel like, right, so I can get my mind running. I feel like, you like my Kipling um, little bag thing? I don't like to have my bag like filled with like a lot of things because I feel like, like, you know, like messy, like inside. Um, like I like to have one like small bag that has like all like those little things. Anyways, I don't know why I'm going on that tangent, but I always feel like HRH, I'm not comparing myself to her, but I always feel like her when I go on like tangents because she goes on tangents so much. HRH, is that her name, HRH? I think that, oh my God, Charlie XCX when she was like, I think that, wait, no, that was my friend that did that impersonating her. She didn't even actually, anyways, gay men have been acquiring HIV AIDS like a lot. I mean, like just for like decades. So I think that the U.S. has not been, it's a research paper, so that's why I'm talking about it in these terms. The U.S. has not really had policies that are specifically targeted at stigma or homophobia, and research has, a lot of research has not been done on gay, 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 gay men. And there are a lot of research papers out there now that like talk about gay men and how they have been kind of just affected and everything but that's just like very very recent but since the, that research is like new and everything like that policies have not really been implemented to kind of like help with stigma and homophobia and racism that men specifically men of color who are gay or bisexual experience when it comes to um just experiencing the homophobia and stigma but how that affects their um acquired hiv and aids and I think that, like, it's just kind of really, really unfair because, you know, there's, like, these regulations and policies that are set in place that just claim to help give resources and everything like that to gay men. But a lot of, like, the underlying stigma still remains, like, a lot. Like, in clinics that support gay men, supposedly, there's literally stigma. And in clinics in general that don't even support gay men, obviously, there's going to be some more stigma there. So I just think that, like... A lot of stuff like that, like little things, like here and there in the system, in the healthcare system, in government, in society specifically. I'm sorry, but homophobia is something that boils my blood. Boils it. Boils it. I can't even... I mean, like, I just can't. I can't even just... I never am able to put into words how much homophobia boils my blood because I really just can't with how people are so concerned about another man's sexuality, especially men. How are, how are you a straight man, but you are so focused on another man's sexuality? How? Like that, it's actually, it's actually bizarre to me. If you were really, oh, that's another topic, but, ooh, girl, it is what it is, but, I've been getting a lot of compliments on this bag. I feel like, like, leave me alone. It's just like a cute little bag. It's um Herschel Supply Company. I mean, it's not even like a big deal or anything. I just love the size of it. I can't, like, it looks kind of big on camera, but like, look, like, it's like, you see, kind of like, relatively to me, kind of. It's like really, it's the perfect bag. I swear I've been wanting a bag like this for as long as I can remember. I thrifted it and it's, brand new it actually oh my god i forget this all the time it has like a little kind of like a like a thing for the rain for like when it's raining and stuff like that you'll just put it over it i love how i go to talking about um about my bag from hiv but you see like it's just really cute like this kind of goes over the bag like anyways gay men have been suffering from hiv and aids and i feel like the thing is you guys like 
I think that like there's a lot that can be done a lot a lot a lot first of all I think that the consequences that are given to people who are like showing stigma homophobia like for example if a doctor showing stigma and a patient reports that who's gay I think that that patient should report it right and uh, an investigation should be done on that physician and if it proves to be true that they were showing stigma then their license should be revoked and i'm saying that as someone who's being who's gonna, who's studying to become a physician i think like like i mean i would never because i'm gay but if i were to show stigma as a physician like take my license away because there's no way like there's just no way like how are you literally a physician and you're showing stigma and, like you're you're like it's just or you're being homophobic i can't i can't and then also stuff like like not even just that but like consequences on society too not just professionals but society like if there's a report if there's like an incidence where it's reported that someone's being homophobic in public i think that the most serious of serious consequences or very serious consequences should be given to that person who's being homophobic i don't care how it happens at a restaurant in public at the beach like you should really at minimum go to jail for a month because the thing is like although it's not affecting although it's just like a like a like a slur or whatever or sh although it's like a it can just be like a verbal thing right like a verbal homophobic slur but the thing is collectively this is really impacting the gay population and i think that it's just not fair because people think that they can be homophobic and that's fine like whatever believe you what you want but people are homophobic but they just don't believe how this is indirectly killing gay men you know what I'm trying to say? Like, it's just, that's just what I'm trying to say. Like, um, I think one of the reasons it's so painful to, like, know that is because, um, for example, like, gay men won't even want to get, to, like, most gay men don't get tested because they will fear experiencing stigma and homophobia from providers, from physicians, and they'll fear going to a clinic because, like, I don't know, they're, they're, they're fearing like someone seeing them or something, they're getting tested for HIV. And I was reading this article with this like man, this uh, this black man, he was talking about how like, he was in a, he doesn't he doesn't get tested at one of the clinics that he um, has in his neighborhood. So he goes to a primarily Hispanic clinic, um, also for gay men, but like, like hours away just because he doesn't want to be seen by people in his community getting tested for HIV because he's afraid of gay people themselves like accusing him of having HIV so even the thought of like the the potential stigma and homophobia that you might experience is impacting people who have HIV or who are at risk for HIV and I think that's just one of the saddest things because to be honest with you, I think a lot of money goes into research, but a lot of the issues really come from how society is treating people that the government is trying to treat with research. Research is needed. I love research. I do research all the time. I love research. But sometimes you need to address other things. Like this country is so focused on just being number one number one number one about like like things like that like research military, like you know what i mean like just want to be number one and that is what's making you not number one and that's a whole different topic but i think where we really need to target things is just kind of like having people understand that homophobia and stigma needs to stop and you if you're homophobic like you need to at least pretend like you're not homophobic in public because that's just something you're gonna have to do like, you know how we live in times now where people aren't as, as much, as much, because people might try to cancel me for this, but as homophobic, like as um, racist anymore, like people aren't as, as racist as it was like in the 1960s and stuff like that, right? So I think that's how she kind of start being with homophobia as well, because the thing is like, these are really insanely powerful concepts that you need to just kind of like understand at like a grand scale, like a, at a big level, like people really don't see like small instances of people being homophobic um and and or even being racist and showing stigma like small moments like that people just aren't seeing how that's affecting people like a whole entire population of, of men of gay men and obviously there's other groups affected by hiv like women and, and adolescent adolescents 
um, I almost said like Adele, but <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's just like something needs to budge, something needs to change. And I feel like I just had to post this video so that I could kind of just like get my mind going, get my mind. Well, I didn't really need to post this video, but I kind of just want to, I don't know why I just want to like post this for some reason. Maybe I'll know why. I also just washed my face and it's kind of clear. I'm gonna go for a walk later. I haven't even started. I'm on paragraph two and I need to do like 10 more pages, nine pages or something like that. So I'm gonna get writing. Thanks for listening if you did. Um, let me know if this is like a topic that's important to you. Let me know what you think should be proposed and what legislation should be passed theoretically or what legislation isn't working right now uh, when it comes to ending stigma, homophobia and other like social determinants of health. Um, what isn't working, what is what is working, what you propose as a policy solution, like, um, to, like, kind of just combat, like, this, this whole, like, issue and everything like that, so, this is very dif different from, like, what I would usually post and stuff, so, featuring my knee the whole time, all right, ciao.